The 2007 Major League Baseball All-Star Game was the 78th mid-season exhibition between the All-Stars of the American League AL and the National League NL, the two leagues comprising Major League Baseball. The game was held on July 10, 2007, at AT&T Park, the home of the NL's San Francisco Giants. It marked the third time that the Giants hosted the All-Star Game since moving to San Francisco for the 1958 season. The 1961 and 1984 All-Star Games were played at the Giants' former home Candlestick Park, and the fourth overall in the Bay Area, with the Giants' Bay Area rivals the Oakland Athletics hosting once back in 1987, and the second straight held in an NL ballpark. The American League defeated the National League by a score of 5–4. Ichiro Suzuki won the MVP award for the game for hitting the first inside the park home run in All-Star history. As per the 2006 collective bargaining agreement, the American League champion, which eventually came to be the Boston Red Sox, received home field advantage in the 2007 World Series. The victory was the tenth consecutive, excluding the 2002 tie, for the AL, and their 11-game unbeaten streak is only beaten by the NL's 11-game winning streak from 1972 to 1982 in All-Star history. Background As with each All-Star game since 1970, the eight starting position players with no designated hitter due to playing in an NL stadium of each league were elected by fan balloting. The remaining players were selected by a player's vote, each league's team manager, and a second fan balloting to add one more player to each roster. In all, 32 players were selected to each league's team, not including players who declined to play due to injuries or personal reasons. The Giants were awarded the game on February 9, 2005. The game marked the first time since 1962 that one league hosted consecutive All-Star games, after Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, hosted the game in 2006. The game was the fifth straight All-Star game to decide home field advantage in the World Series. The AL entered the game on a 10-game unbeaten streak nine wins, with one tie in 2002. The NL was looking for their first win since the 1996 game in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Fan balloting Starters <laughs> 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 Balloting for the 2007 All-Star Game starters excluding pitchers began on April 27 and continued through June 28. The top vote getters at each position and the top 3 among outfielders are named the starters for their respective leagues. The results were announced on July 1. About 18.5 million votes were cast by close to 12 million fans. Alex Rodriguez was the leading vote getter with 3,890,515 votes, easily outpacing his Yankees teammate Derek Jeter by over 700,000 votes. Ken Griffey Jr. was the top vote getter in the National League, with 2,986,818 votes. Final roster spot After the rosters were announced, a second round of fan voting, the Monster All-Star Final Vote, was commenced to determine the occupant of the final roster spot for each team. This round lasted until July 5. Chris Young and Hideki Okajima were elected to represent the National League and American League, respectively, in the All-Star Game as first-time All-Stars. All ten players included in the balloting were pitchers, a first for the event. Rosters Players in italics have since been inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Carrot A These players did not see action in the game. Carrot B voted onto the roster through the All Star final vote. Carrot C Unable to play due to injury. Brandon Webb took his roster spot. Carrot D Unable to play due to injury. Roy Oswalt took his roster spot. Managers National League, Tony La Russa American League, Jim Leyland Game 
O Canada was played by members of the San Francisco Symphony. The Star Spangled Banner was sung by Chris Isaac. Before the game, there was a tribute to former San Francisco Giants slugger Willie Mays. Mays threw the ceremonial first pitch to New York Mets shortstop Jose Reyes. Paula Cole sang God Bless America during the seventh inning stretch. The first pitch was thrown by the National League starter, Jake Peavy at 8.54 Eastern Daylight Saving Time The game was completed in three hours, six minutes under an overcast sky and a game-time temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Umpires Umpires for the game were announced on June 14. Bruce Froming, the most tenured current umpire in Major League Baseball, was named crew chief for the game. It was also revealed that day that Froming would retire following the 2007 season. <laughs> Starting lineups Game summary The National League got things started in the bottom of the first when Jose Reyes led off with a base hit off American League starter Dan Heron and proceeded to steal second. He scored on an RBI single by Ken Griffey Jr. to give the NL a 1–0 lead. Barry Bonds nearly gave his hometown fans something to cheer for in the bottom of the third when, with Reyes on second, he lofted a high fly ball to left field, but it was snared at the warning track by Maglio Ordonez. The AL nearly tied the game in the fourth when Alex Rodriguez attempted to score on a two-out single by Ivan Rodriguez. However, the throw to home plate by Griffey allowed Russell Martin to tag Rodriguez out at the plate to end the inning. The All would score one inning later when, after Chris Young issued a leadoff walk to Brian Roberts, Ichiro Suzuki hit a long fly ball off the right field wall. Instead of caroming straight to Griffey, the ball took an unusual bounce off a sign and ricocheted to Griffey's right. This allowed Ichiro to score on what is still the only inside the park home run in All-Star Game history. The homer gave the AL a 2-1 lead and resulted in Ichiro's MVP win. The lead would be augmented in the sixth when Carl Crawford hit a line drive that just cleared the right field wall for a home run. Though it appeared a fan may have reached over the wall to catch it, NL manager Tony La Russa did not challenge the umpire's call. The NL got a run back in the bottom of the inning when Carlos Beltran led off with a triple and scored on a sacrifice fly by Griffey. The AL added some insurance runs in the eighth when Victor Martinez hit a two-run home run just inside the left field foul pole to give the AL a 5-2 lead. The American League's closers then entered the game, with Jonathan Papelbon pitching a scoreless bottom of the eighth. In the ninth, J.J. Putz tried to earn the save and began by inducing a weak pop-up and striking out Brian McCann. Pinch hitter Dimitri Young rolled a ground ball deep in the hole to Brian Roberts, but he could not come up with it. Alfonso Soriano followed with a two-run home run to right field to cut the NL's deficit to one. After putts walked J.J. Hardy, all-manager Jim Leyland replaced him with Francisco Rodriguez. However, Rodriguez had trouble consistently locating his pitches and walked Derek Lee on a check swing 3-2 pitch and then Orlando Hudson to load the bases. In a move that drew criticism, La Russa elected not to pinch hit his last player on the bench, Albert Pujols, and instead let Aaron Rowand hit. Rowand lofted a fly ball to right field that was caught by Alex Rios to close the game, earning the American League their tenth consecutive victory. Topic home Run Derby The State Farm Home Run Derby was held the night before the All-Star Game, July 9, and broadcast on ESPN. Four players from each league competed to hit as many home runs as they could in each round to advance and eventually win the contest. This year, a five-swing swing-off would be used to break ties occurring in any round. This became necessary when Albert Pujols and Justin Murnau tied for fourth in the first round. The champion of last year's derby, Ryan Howard of the Philadelphia Phillies, competed even though he was not named to the NL All Star roster. In the finals, Vladimir Guerrero of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim defeated Alex Rios of the Toronto Blue Jays by a score of 3 2. Guerrero hit 17 home runs in all, second only to Rios' 19. Guerrero also hit the longest blast of the competition, a 503-foot drive to left field that just missed hitting a giant replica glove and baseball set up on the concourse beyond the left field bleachers. 
AT&T Park is distinguished by having the San Francisco Bay beyond its right field bleachers. The body of water located adjacent to the ballpark is known as McCovey Cove, named for legendary Giants slugger Willie McCovey. McCovey Cove is known for having many fans sitting in the water in kayaks and boats hoping to retrieve a long home run ball hit there. Though dozens of fans waited in the cove during the derby, no home runs were actually hit into the water, either on the fly or off the promenade next to the right field seats, though, one foul ball hit by Prince Fielder did reach the water. This was largely due to the three left-handed competitors all exiting in the first round, as well as wind currents blowing toward left field. Prior to the All-Star break, a total of 58 home runs were hit into the cove on the fly during the park's history. Gold balls were utilized whenever any player had one out remaining during his round. Any home runs hit with the balls meant Major League Baseball and State Farm would pledge to donate money to the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Due to the change in sponsors from Century 21 to State Farm, each ball's value was reduced to $17,000 to reflect the 17,000 State Farm agents in the United States and Canada. In all, 12 gold ball home runs were hit, which, along with a $50,000 bonus constituted $254,000 raised for charity. Carrot A recorded only 7 of 10 outs before hitting winning home run, Carrot B advanced after defeating Murnau 2-1 in a swing off. Futures game The 2007 XM All-Star Futures game took place on July 8, showcasing the top minor league prospects from all 30 teams' farm systems. The contest is seven innings regardless of the score with pitchers limited to no more than one inning of work. The world team defeated the United States by a score of 7–2. Chin Lung Hu of the Los Angeles Dodgers organization won the Larry Doby MVP award after driving in two runs on a single and double, plus a stolen base and a run. Footnotes and references External links Official website of the All-Star Game 2007 Major League Baseball All-Star Game at Baseball Reference